Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, to the channel IT Simplified. I hope you're having a good time with your family and friends. In today's session on Azure, I'm here to show you how you can deploy Radius Server in Azure environment so that uh, all the remote users will be connecting it and using point-to-site connectivity. So the idea being that uh, rather than generating root and client certificate, which can be cumbersome, uh, we will be using Radius Server, which has already connectivity to our uh, domain controller, and all the users will be using their domain credential in order to access those resources. So before I start, uh, let me just give you a brief overview of my environment. So as you can see on this diagram, I have a, a VNet with the name Enlight VNet, 192.168.0.0 slash 16. Everything is deployed in this. I have two machines. One is the DC with the IP of dot four. Other one is with the name FS. Uh, just ignore my naming convention. This will be acting as a radius server. We're gonna uh, install the role. It has an IP of dot five, and it's all under the uh, uh, Enlight VNet. I've also deployed already the gateway. The VPN gateway is already there, and it is uh, under the subnet 192.168.1.0. As you know that when we deploy a VPN gateway, it has to be within its own subnet. So these machines, virtual machines are in its own subnet and the gateway is in its own subnet. And this is under the domain techdatacanada.com. And in this domain controller, I've already created a security group with the name VPN users and in which I have two users with the name Shivam, Shiv and Vishnu just to test this out. So this infra is already in place. And for some reason, if you don't know how to configure, in my previous videos, I've already uh, showed you how to configure the domain controller, deploy the gateway, domain join, uh, you know, create the users, all those things you can go and check that out. But this is already in place. What we'll be doing is we'll be going to this machine and make it as an RDS server, uh, making it a, a radius server, and then we'll do the configuration on the Azure portal side. So let's roll this. So what we're gonna do is uh, I've already initiated the RDP session. Actually, before I go there, go there, let me just quickly show you. These are the two machines I have already in place. They are domain joined. That's all I've already initiated the RDP session. So let's go to our going to be radius server. And what we'll be doing is go to add roles and features. Go next. The role that we want to deploy is the network policy and access service. Take all the features by default. Go next. We'll still check the box, though I don't think that we need to restart the machine, but just to be on the safer side and click on the install button. So it will just take a minute or two to get the installation done. And while this is getting installed, what we'll be doing is we'll go to our Azure site and let's go and configure the point to site configuration. I'm going to go to virtual network gateway. And here you can see that I have the point to site configuration. Just one thing to point out uh, in case you want to use this connect, uh, use this option and use the radius uh, authentication, make sure that you're using GW1 or upper tier. Basic doesn't allow you to do that. Uh, so, what we'll be doing is we'll be using the radius authentication, the server that we have in place. And you need to uh, put your address pool. So basically, whatever address pool you specify over here, from this only the clients will be getting the uh, IP addresses when they uh, when they have that uh, point to site uh, tunnel from their local machine. So I'll use 10100 slash 24 and make sure that uh, this is uh, a, this address pool doesn't interfere with other addresses that you have in your virtual network. For tunnel type, I will use IKE v2 and SSTP. Uh, so that should work for us. And the server IP address of our radius server, as I mentioned, is dot five. So we'll specify that over there. And uh, we need to put a server secret, right? So you can put anything. I'm just going to keep it simple. We'll use the secret once our radius server is up and running. Right? Let's go and click on the save button. And while this is getting saved, let's go on to the radius server side and see if our installation has finished. So you can see installation was done. So let's go and close this. 
what we'll be doing is we'll go to the tools and open network policy server. So what we have to do is in this network policy server, we need to configure two things. One thing we have to configure the policy and the other thing we need to configure is the uh, radius client. So before I do that, make sure that your server is registered with Active Directory. In my case, it is already registered. So first thing we're gonna do is go and expand network policy. Let's go and click on new. And we need to give it a name. Name it your policy. We'll use remote access server VPN dial dial up. Let's go to next. Under the conditions, we'll be using the user group. So let's go and use the user group which we already created. And the user group is with the name VPN users under which are two users with the name Shiv and Vishnu are there. So let's go and uh, select them. Go to next, X is granted. And in this case, uh, we'll be using the secure password. This protocol, we don't need to select these things. We can uncheck that. Let's go and click on next. And here also, we don't need to configure anything. Let's go and click on next. These are default we can take. User group is selected and let's click on the finish button. So the Azure policy was created. If you want to tweak the properties in this, you can always do that. Let me just move this up. Right, if you want to change anything, you can always go and change in the property. So that network policy is in place. What we'll be doing is now configure a radius client. So let's go and click on radius client and click new and uh, give it a name. Name it radius client. Okay, so for the address IP or D, uh, DNS, it is asking, we need to give uh, the subnet under which our VPN gateway is. So just going back to my uh, diagram, this is the gateway subnet that we need to give. So my gateway is in the subnet 192.168.1.0 slash 24. And that is what I have to provide that information here. So let me give this. Click on OK. And under the shared secret, we have to give the secret that we created uh, when we were doing the point to site configuration on the Azure site. So let me provide that. Click on OK. And my radius client is in place and uh, even my policy is in place. If you go under the network policy, we can just go and check the properties. If you can go to the properties, you can see that uh, all things are in place. Let's check the condition. User groups are there, constraints. Yeah, that's good. Settings. Yeah, seems okay to me. But we'll do the testing. Hopefully we'll be able to end on the radius client side, same thing. We have enabled the radius client given the IP of the gateway, provided the password. Click on OK, so that should be good. So with that in place, what we're gonna do, let's go back to the portal. And what we'll be doing is we will download this VPN client on local machine. I will try to connect uh, from this local computer. So let me just go and download this. So basically a user can be anywhere right so when he's trying to connect it will ask them for the domain credentials right and once he's inside the domain credential whatever access he has uh, he should be able to 
access those resources. So that's what we are trying to achieve. So let's go back to R. So you can see that the client was uh, installed successfully. Let me just go and open this. I will unzip this. Use the 64 bit. Extract all. And uh, I want to extract this on my folder, which I believe I already have. Pick this, extract it. Okay, so with that extracted, let's go and uh, open it. Run anyway. Yes, we want to install this. Let me close these windows. Close this too. Okay, so if I go to my firewall properties, we should be able to see that uh, VNet, right? So let me just go and so this is the VNet, as I said that, that's the one, it is in disconnected state. So let me just go back to my drawing. So this is the VNet, right? So that's what we have uh, downloaded. Let's try to now connect to it. So let's go and uh, try to connect. Here it is. Okay, so what I'm gonna use is the user, which is already there in my security group. And it's with the name Vishnu. So this is the user I'm talking about, right? So I have two users with the name Vishnu and Shiv. So I'm trying to connect with the name Vishnu. So let me just provide the password. All right, if I go, as you can see that uh, I am connected. So that's good. So Vision was able to access it. So if I go to my command prompt and just type in IP config, you can see that the IP should be from the address, address range, which I have specified when I was configuring my point to site VPN connectivity. Right, let me actually show you, check my adapter. There we go, right? So this is, you see, this is the address pool when we created 10.100 slash 24. And my LIP net, it is under that, and I'm getting the IP from, from that address pool range. So let me just clear the screen. And let's actually do one more testing. I should be able to ping uh, what you call from this place, right? So let me just clear. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to ping my PC. Okay, I am able to ping my domain controller. So the uh, domain controller IP is dot four, and let's check for the radius server. So I'm going to do that too. Here we go. So you can see that uh, we have uh, successfully configured our uh, point to site connectivity, right? And I'm using the domain credential in order to access. So all these users who has access to this, they can download the VPN client and they'll be able to access the Azure resources. We don't need to generate the certificate, the root and client. So we don't have to go through that pain, right? So with this, we have successfully configured this. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.